Hi, friends. It's me, Kelly Schneider, and thanks for tuning in to What's Up Peoria, because we're going to tell you what's up in Peoria this weekend, so you can plan your weekend and do fun things, because there's always stuff to do in Peoria. Not sure if you know about that, but I'm going to tell you about that right now. Our weekend will start now with Thursday, December 6th. Um, and I can't believe it's already December, first of all. Wild, but here we are. And we're going to start this day with a um, the Nature Art Show and Sale Open House, which is going on at the Forest Park Nature Center. And it goes through New Year's Eve, Mondays through Saturdays, actually. So you got extra time to get to this thing. From 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Sundays from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., except for on Christmas Day. Um, so it features a diversity of media and unique artwork, all created by talented local artists. Um... And include original nature-related photographs, paintings, wood carvings, handmade jewelry, much, much more. And it's free to get in. So, uh, you know, save some, some money on the admission and spend it on the crafts and the art. So, that'd be nice. We can also uh, join Pumpkinland community events and friends um, until 9 p.m. tonight for the indulgence tours, the Peppermints. And this goes down in the village of Morton. Um, each participating business um, might get you an opportunity to receive $20 gift cards from each participating business. So just pop in and you could win 20 bucks, and that's pretty cool. Um, and it says that the participating businesses can be found on mortonmagnet.com. Magnet, like the thing that sticks to metal, like Magneto, but without the O, dot com. Uh, we could get into the holiday spirit in the historic Washington Square um, because the Washington specialty shops in the historic Washington Square is going to have a little holiday spirit thing. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm struggling right now. Just kidding. It's me. It's a struggle. Um, but anyways, until 8 p.m. today, we can get into the holiday spirit with the annual Washington Candlelight Stroll. Gosh. Um, so people will be able to take part in several events throughout the night, including carriage rides, a visit from Santa, a talking Christmas tree. What? Uh, community Christmas sing-along and more. So all the shops in the square will be participating and will be open um, for people who are looking to get great holiday gifts. All right. And then after that, you'll go over to Filippi's Winter Wonderland because that runs through New Year's Eve at the VFW post off of Springfield Road in East Peoria. So the drive through Electric Park is the Festival of Lights signature event featuring most of the Parade of Lights floats and many other lighted displays. So hours are 5 to 9 p.m., uh, Sundays through Thursdays, and 5 to 11 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Central Illinois Herpetological Society will meet at the Forest Park Nature Center at 7 p.m. Uh, they'll feature a speaker, some raffles, announcements about trips, and other exhibits, as well as the opportunity for hobbyists to interact with one another, and admission is free for that. Um, mum, 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 mum. The best Christmas pageant ever will be presented at the Community Children's Theater at Peoria Players Theater at 7 p.m. That sounded weird. Um, Thursday through Saturday, and then at 1.30 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. General admission tickets are available online at uh, cctpeoria.org slash tickets. Um, or they're available there at the, at, right before the performance. Beep, beep, beep. All right. And then finally for Thursday, we're going to go and check out, uh, Joseph and the amazing color. Nope, nope, nope. Joseph and the amazing Technicolor dream coat, because that's being presented by the East Light Theater in East Peoria High School Auditorium beginning at 7.30 PM, um, 
and then that goes Friday and Saturday and at 2 p.m. on Sunday. Right. That was that for Thursday. Sorry, there were some people banging on the wall in the other unit, and it just threw me off completely. That's my excuse. All right. Moving along. <laughs> Not choking to death. To Friday, which is December 7th. And we're going to start that off with a holiday lunch cruise on the Spirit of Peoria, which runs from noon to 2.30. And it features Barry Cloyd and Brian Fox Ellis with Prairie Folklore Theater. So a holiday dinner cruise is also going to take place, sorry, um, on Friday from 7 to 9 p.m. It does say reservations are required for this, though. If you're looking for another uh, mode of transportation, we could go to Santa's Wildlife Express because that's going to take place at the Wildlife Prairie Park Friday from 4 to 8 p.m., Saturday from 2 to 8 p.m., and Sunday from 2 to 7 p.m. It says, ride the train through the decorated woods, decorate a holiday cookie to take home, watch the animals open their gifts, and do fun holiday crafts and games, as well as write a letter to Santa. Uh, reservations are required, but may be made by calling... 6760998 or wildlifeprairiepark.org. Wow, I didn't mess that up and that's pretty cool. We've got the Chow First Fridays tour from 5 to 9 p.m. at various locations including the Contemporary Art Center, Studios on Sheridan, and Prairie Center for the Arts plus other locations where visitors can view artist demonstration as well as purchase pieces. And there's a map on the website, but I don't remember what that is and I messed it up last time anyway, so I'm just Chow. C I A O. That's what it is. Um, live at Five Spot at the Contemporary Arts Center will feature a live local band beginning at 5 30 p.m. Or perhaps you want to see a play sort of thing, but get involved in it. You could check out the murder mystery dinner that's going on. Um, that one's called It's a Wonderful Death. And that's going to take place at the Mackinac Valley Vineyard beginning at 5.30 p.m. with a wine tasting and cast mingle. So admission includes three complimentary wine samples per guest, plus a buffet dinner served after the first act. So additional beverages can be purchased, um, and reservations are also required for that, and you could call 359-9463 to make those reservations. <clears throat> Howlin' on the Water Dueling Pianos is going to go down at the Broadway Lounge at the Maxim Building on Friday and Saturday with dinner seating beginning at 6 p.m. Or Christmas Rocks at the Pops will take place at the Five Points in Washington beginning at 7 p.m. Features carols and songs both old and new. Plus, Santa's going to drop by. So, you know. Yeah. Um, world famous Harlem Globetrotters. They're going to take on the Washington Generals at the Peoria Civic Center Arena beginning at 7 p.m. You can get your tickets at the Civic Center. And then another play is Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus. That's presented at the Cornstock Theater. Um, beginning at 7.30 p.m. on Friday and Saturday and 2.30 p.m. on Sunday. Two, sorry. Finally, for Friday, we have Salsa at the Contemporary Arts Center. Um, it's going to feature a dance lesson from 8.30 to 9.30 and then open dancing from 9.30 to 12.30. So it's a great way to wrap up your night. Okay. Right now, my eyelashes are all stuck together. Anyway, um, we shall proceed into Saturday, which is December 8th, and we'll start that off with the Santa Claus 5K um, because that's going to begin and end at the Monarch Music Hall at 8 a.m. So, proceeds benefit the Neighborhood House 
Registration includes a full five-piece Santa suit, souvenir Christmas ornament, and on-site Christmas goodies. Proceeds will benefit the Children's Hospital of Illinois. Well, this is the first time I'll say it this year. Ho, ho, ho. It's that time of year. And what kid wouldn't want to eat breakfast with Santa? Um, well, you can, as well as your children, from 9 a.m. to noon at the Kickapoo Creek Winery. So kids of every age are welcome. You can take your picture with Santa, get some face painting going on, and decorate a Christmas cookie. It sounds like you could end up with like a whole dozen cookies if you just like stopped by all the decorating places for cookies. And I'm not opposed. And if you don't like cookies and wanted to drop them off by my place, I'll eat them. Just saying. Or if you want to send cookies here, I'll accept and eat those too. I bet Tim would. Just saying. Yeah. Yep. We got a we got a confirmation there. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I was just doing with my face there, but I imagine it looked quite silly. It felt weird. The 11th annual Santa train featuring, <laughs> we got confirmation on that too, featuring Santa Claus will make six stops along the railroad line beginning at 8.30 a.m. until 5.15 p.m. So they're going to visit children, provide railroad safety demonstrations, and confirm their Christmas list. So Santa Claus and employees from the Keokuk Junction Railway Company will make six stops along the railway line to visit children. I just read that exact same line twice. I'm really sorry. Anyway, uh, Santa will arrive at each location by train and children are welcome to visit Santa. <laughs> Aboard his holiday caboose. Admission is free. That was goofy. <laughs> anyway, not, not that goofy, I guess, but it was to me. Get the kids out to the mute. No, no, sorry. I feel like this is trains, planes, and automobile episode today because get your kids out to the Pekin Municipal Airport to see Santa on Saturday um, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Santa is going to fly into the airport. Um, children will get to write a letter to Santa and have a talk with him along with a picture. So visitors will also be able to donate for toys to tots. Donate to toys for tots. Sorry, it's a good cause though, do it. So yeah, we got trains, we got planes, automobiles. Experience a bit of old world Christmas magic at the ninth annual Chris Kringle Mart, which will take place at the Lindenhof from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday and from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sunday. So features vendors offering a variety of arts and crafts perfect for holiday gift giving as well as baked goods, imported items from Germany and Austria, and a visit from Chris Kringle, a.k.a. Santa Claus. Uh, it's hosted by Harmony Concordia Singers of Peoria, American German, no, nope, German American Society. Um, there will be live entertainment plus food available. Available. Um, typical of the Kris Kringle Marts. So, such as bratwurst, wiener schnitzel, homemade strudel, Gloom, hot chocolate, hot cider, Bavarian pretzels, and German beer. Say no more. I'll be there. It was the pretzels and beer that got me there. Mmm. Admission is free. So, that sounds great. Fifth Annual Children's Christmas Store is where children 12 and under can shop for family and friends without their parents but they're still supervised. This event will be held every Saturday until Christmas from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Little Land of Candy and More, which is in Chillicothe. So if your kids wanna go shopping and you know you can take them there, they'll stay in the store and then they'll come out with their presents for you and you'll be surprised at Christmas and that will be so nice for them. Unless they tell you all about it, because I don't think kids are great at keeping secrets. So maybe they'll just get in and be like, look what I bought for you. I'll move on. 
A vendor show and bake sale will be held at the Robin School in East Peoria from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. with Santa available from 11.30 to 1.30. So features all sewn up, chubby frog jewelry, eclair designs, Norwex, Pampered Chef, Scentsy, So Very Jen, 31, Tupperware, just stuff like that. So great gifts and admission is free for that too. And Santa will be there. This is the season, right? Just awesome. We've got the Peoria Art Guild Holiday Trunk Show. It will take place at the Guild offices on Harrison Street in Peoria from 11 a.m. to 1 3 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Anyway, you can find unique, one-of-a-kind holiday gifts, and kids can make parents a handmade craft or gift while their parents shop. So that's pretty cool. And admission is free for that too. Finally, just kidding. Finally, I'll move to that next page. Anyway, <laughs> the Peoria Ballet will present the Nutcracker at the Civic Center from, okay. The Peoria Ballet will present the Nutcracker at the Civic Center Theater at 2 p.m. and at 7.30 p.m. on Sunday, Saturday, and at 2 p.m. on Sunday. Good luck into this performance. That's all I'm trying to say. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, features a live performance of classic music by the Heartland Festival Orchestra, along with the cast of over 100 Peoria ballet dancers will be joined by principal artists from Joffrey Ballet Dancing, the roles of, you know what, uh, everybody knows what it is, it's at the Civic Center, you can get tickets online, and I hope you enjoy the show. The Peoria Symphony Orchestra will present Handel's Messiah at the Grace Presbyterian Church on Route 91 at 7 p.m. So, features the Apollo Chorus of Orchestra, Josephine Stoppelberg, Stoppelenberg, Lindsay Metzger, Alex Masuri, and Evan Boyer. And uh, the tickets are PeoriaSymphony.org for those, or call the box office. Okay, no, we can do it. I feel very confident in myself, which is why I wear such a ridiculous outfit to be live for all of you and to go to the ugly sweater party that I'm going to after this, but you know. Okay, so Chicago Blues Hall of Fame Grammy elected Australian contemporary blues rock artist Michael Charles claims the stage at the field house from 7 to 10 p.m. That was the longest description of a person ever, but justified because sounds like he's pretty talented. Anyways, so he's going to be at the field house from 7 to 10 p.m. with an elevated level of energy and a guitar-driven journey through 35 years. What? I don't understand. Uh, 35 years and 35 releases of his original music. Uh, leading off with an explosive blues number, the audience is soon captivated by well-rehearsed precision and experiencing MC's original blues, blues-based rock, inspiring ballads, as well as some well-known covers. So, as in all of MC's performances and recordings, his guitar is kept forefront and the driving force behind his music. So, driven. Um, and then finally for Saturday, but probably one of the most important things, is the Peoria Riverman will be taking on Evansville, Evansville Thunderbolts at the Civic Center Arena, and that begins at 7.15 p.m. Tickets are available at the Civic Center box office. All tickets master locations, or at 676-1040. Okay, we're rolling into Sunday. Um, so, sorry, I just totally blanked. Miles away, dear. Anyways, Sunday is December 9th, and we're going to start that with the Historic Home Holiday Walk Open House. 
what? Anyways, I just don't read good anymore, guys. Anyways, it's going to take place from 1 to 4 p.m., and it gives you the opportunity to walk through Christmas Pass at the Pettengill Warren Houses, celebrating over 150 years with each room decorated in the era of one of its owners. That's really cool. So Flanagan House's theme is Christmas at the Movies. Um, both are beautifully decorated to highlight their craftsmanship and charm, and you will be inspired by Peoria's past with delightfully festive backdrop. That does sound delightfully festive. Okay, we got Lightwire Theater, a very electric Christmas, is going to be presented at the ICC Performing Arts Center beginning at 2.30 p.m., and tickets are available there at the ICC box office. And the picture for that looked really cool. It looked very electric, if you will. And I will. And then uh, we got the Riverman is going to take on Huntsville Havoc at the Civic Center Arena beginning at 3.05 p.m. And then finally for Sunday, we have the Old Time Folk and Country Jam at the Forest Park Nature Center from 3.30 to 5.00. So, as always, it's a BYOI, bring your own instrument, um, but you're going to meet some other cool musicians and learn new songs and all that stuff, and it is free for admission, but donations are requested, and that's a good, that's a good place to give your money, so, um, yeah, I mean, lots of holiday things coming up, obviously, um, I just don't know what to do with myself when you're wearing this much stuff. Um, so anyways, lots of holiday stuff coming up. If you've got holiday stuff that you want me to advertise, please let me know. I would love to do that. Uh, please like and share the videos so that your friends who like don't know what to do are like, oh, look at all the stuff there is to do. That would be great. Um, and go ahead and send cookies here. I never thought of suggesting it before, but why not? Yep, that's that. 707 Main Street, please, to the Widecast Studios. Um, and then finally, I know this is maybe a little bit in advance, but no, it's not. It's not at all. Yeah, it is. It's okay. But be sure to make sure you put it in your calendar that you're going to watch our show on December 17th because we got a great big open house show going on all day and we would love for you to be there. So have a great weekend, everybody. I will look forward to seeing you next week. PeoriaLife.com. Oh, and if you wanted to see. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Ta-da. A Christmas tray. Eh? Great.